Okay, this is an example of a program being stuck for some reason. So it looks like this one was trying to start and got stuck somewhere. So what we'll do is we'll turn on a terminal and we'll take the well since this is a user you can all just take a normal user terminal and then you do PSAX since the name of the software that we're looking at is it's LibreOffice uh, we could look for PSAX and then search for Office and here you will notice that you have OPT LibreOffice 3.6 program OO splash this is the splash screen and uh, this is the actual exe file so if you kill I think I mean this one you kill obviously it's going to stop from our previous experience this one I don't know if you do that we'll try this one first so the ID is 6092 so we say kill 6092 and then do up arrow twice to get the same command see now they're both gone that means in the back behind us we shouldn't be able to see that so it's gone so the program is killed kill is a command for terminating a process okay so that's how you do it if that hadn't worked then we would have killed this one and if that doesn't really work there is another program uh, command called kill and then space dash nine that means uh, without any consideration and don't request it just kill it completely that's like a hard kill and uh, you do like 6114 if I do it now since the program is not running there it will say no such process there is a low probability that if for some systems which have very fast changing programs you might have this process ID 6114 actually being used by another software as soon as it has been empty not as soon but after it has been released by a process ID but if you notice there are five digits here and uh, if you I'm scrolling up through the mouse or wheel to show you that the process IDs you would see single digit ones and two digit ones also this is the first process ID is called init this is the process that uh, is the owner of all the other processes and uh, notice that there are some gaps in between what happens is the process IDs continue to increase but they don't go indefinitely this is a 16 bit number so it goes up to 65535 and then they start going back to a number which is lower so if you get 65535 the next ID would be the one that's missing from here like three six one two three four four might be assigned to uh, the process which is after six five five three six I am not sure if the numbers uh, that are assigned would include four or not or because I haven't usually seen uh, processes with low numbers so maybe there is an un a higher number uh, that they start off with repeating the numbers I'm not sure if that would be the case but I haven't read anywhere that the numbers are not allocated but usually in Unix or the way these systems are designed by hackers not crackers they do reserve lower numbers for some purposes so it might be a case but I'm not sure somebody could check up on that and get back to me so we can update information here okay so that's how you kill a process there is also if you want to uh, kill a process you can give it by the name so you say kill all and then dash nine if it means like forcibly do it without any consideration at all with no requests just kill it then instead of giving the process ID you give the name of the program so that would be this part which is sofficebin so here you would say s o f f i c e dot bin okay uh, since there is no program right now with that name uh, we have another program which uh, is a bit better than kill all a bit more dangerous also uh, it's not usually available in Unix or Linux uh, but we can provide it separately it's a better method it actually searches for the program name in a more uh, different man a slightly different manner 
and uh, kills all of the processes that are related to that okay so that's for the kill process so far